Okay, let's learn how to graph the line 3x plus 4y equals negative 12. So I'm going to go through that here in a second. And of course, this is just one particular equation, 3x plus 4y equals negative 12. But obviously what I'm try going to try to teach you here is how to graph lines in this particular form. And we'll talk all about that in a second. Um, first, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over the last several years, I've constructed many, many online math courses, uh, rarely with super comprehensive instruction. Um, so if you want to check out my math learning program, I'm going to leave a link uh, to um, that in the description of this video. Again, you know, these things that I do on YouTube, it's not like this particular video, or quick tutorials just to try to get you out of a bind, you know, try to clear up any kind of confusion. But if you're really looking for a lot of math help, a lot of examples, a lot of problems solved, et cetera, that type of thing, then I'm gonna encourage you to go ahead and check out my math learning program. Also, um, if you're new to my YouTube channel, I already have hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel that uh, if you like my teaching style, you can definitely check out on all kinds of variety of math topics. And if you like this video, please consider uh, smashing that like button. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's learn how to graph 3x plus 4y equals negative 12. All right, so here is our problem. And this type of um, problem is really kind of fundamental to those of you out there that are kind of learning algebra, pre-algebra, algebra one, maybe college algebra, you know, somewhere around this kind of um, uh, level. But we learn these or we apply these skills in all math courses, okay? So beyond, let's say you could be a, a calculus student, it doesn't make a difference. This is all, you know, math builds upon itself. But typically, you start learning this around, you know, the middle school level, you know, basic high school level mathematics, okay? Now, let's, let's kind of consider what's going on here. So we have 3x plus 4y equals negative 12. So this right here is an equation, all right? It's an algebraic equation. We refer to equations like this in algebra as linear equations, okay? Meaning that this equation has a line, okay, associated with it, the graph. There's some sort of line, graphical representation of this equation. So what we're gonna try to do is graph that line, all right? That's the whole idea here. Now, one of the things that you can do, okay, when you're looking at this equation, is we have a couple options. They're like, well, how can you graph a line in general, okay? Well, when we have a linear equation that has both an x and a y like this, you pretty much kind of have three different kind of ways to kind of go about it, right? So the first way is to always uh, use some sort of table of values. So this is kind of a basic table here. We're gonna actually use that in this problem. Okay, but you can just make yourself an X, Y table like so and plug in a bunch of values for X, plug it all in and get a bunch of values for Y. These are going to be points that are on the line. Okay, and then you kind of connect the dots, right? Just draw a line through those uh, respective points. But tables are, they're, they're good to know and you definitely need to know them. Okay, but the, uh, generally they're not the most direct path to graph a line. Okay, so most linear equations, I would say, uh, problem, well, yeah, I think I'm correct by saying this, that the majority of times when we're dealing with linear equations, we like to use the slope-intercept form, the y equals mx plus b form of a line. So if you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you're familiar with y equals mx plus b. In other words, lines are like this, y equals one-half x plus five. You would know how to graph that line, okay? Why would you know how to graph this line? Because you understand how the slope-intercept formula works. Okay, so that's really important. You definitely need to understand the slope-intercept formula and the basic mechanics of a table. All right, so that leaves us with this line, okay? You can also, if a line is in standard form, find the xy-intercepts, okay? So this is kind of a, an abbreviated way of the table method, okay? It's kind of, we're, we're kind of doing something similar, but it's kind of its own technique, right? So now we have these kind of three different paths that we can follow to graph this line. So we have three options here. So how do we know which is the right one? Well, really, you want to use the uh, whatever technique depending on what form the line is in, okay? In other words, 
what is the format of this line? Okay, so here we have 3x plus 4y equals negative 12. We have a nice whole number, integer value in front of the x. Same th thing, we have a nice whole number in front of the y. And then here we have a nice integer value over here. When a line is in this type of form, you always want to be thinking using the xy intercepts. We call this standard form. This line is in standard form. Or ax plus by equals c. Okay? So this line fits this format, okay, versus the y equals mx plus b form. So if you see lines that are written in y equals mx plus b form, you want to graph them using that technique. If you see lines that are clearly written in a uh, the standard form, uh, uh, that particular format, where you want to go ahead and use the technique I'm going to show you here now. Okay, so a big part of graphing uh, linear equations is just to first identify what form you know, is the line in? Now, there are times where a line isn't in 100%. It's not uh, clear. Or it's not in a particular format. So, in other words, if I had 4y equals 3x minus 8, well, that's not either in standard form or y equals mx plus p form. So, you know, we have a choice there. We can either write it as y equals or we can kind of put it into uh, standard form. Okay, y equals mx plus p, etc. Okay, so, you know, again, the point of this video is to kind of clarify, really give you a good overarching understanding of linear equations and how to identify what form they're in and what, you know, your options are. So you're going to need to know all these skills, but this uh, particular problem is in a nice, easy, standard form setup. So knowing that, we want to use... Uh, the x, y intercept approach to you. We want to get the x, y intercepts for this line. So I'm just going to just draw some sort of line like so here, okay? So just to identify what the x intercept and y intercept is what? Well, how many points does it take to graph any line? Well, if I have a point here and, a, and another point here, I can draw the line, right? So I need two points at a minimum. So what we're going to be going for is the x intercept and the y-intercept. So these are just the points where the line chops through the x-axis. So like right here, that would be the x-intercept. So this particular point is the x-intercept because that's where it chops through the x-axis. And the line is chopping through the y-axis right there. So if I get this point and that point, I can, I can, I can uh, graph the line. So this is the whole idea behind the x-y-intercept. So that's what we're going to be going for in this uh, problem. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we're going to use a table of values. So here's how it works. All right, I'm going to put a zero here, x and y. I'm going to put a zero for x and a zero for y, and then I'm going to get these points. This You'll see how this works here uh, shortly. Okay, let's go ahead and figure out uh, this table. We get, we're obviously going to have to get this information right there for y, and we're going to have to get this information right here for x. So here's what we do. So when x is 0, when x is 0, if you look here, I have the x column. When it's 0, what is y? Okay, well, let's go ahead and figure that out. So we go over here to our, our equation, all right? So 3x plus 4y equals negative 12, and we're going to plug in 0 for x, okay? That's what this is saying. Plug in 0 for x, and I do that. What I want to do now is solve this basic remaining equation for y. So 0 times 3 is obviously 0. So I really need to solve this equation for y equals negative 12. And hopefully all of you out there know how to do that. Just simply divide both sides of the equation by 4. And I get y equals negative 3. So that's what I would put right there. 0, negative 3. Okay, now what's important about this? Well, let me just stop myself. So if you were confused on how to do this, then you have to go back and do some additional review in algebra, basic equation solving, etc. So remember, algebra is all interlinked. Okay, if you were like, oh, I understand this, but I always struggle with this part, well, that means you need to kind of, you know, review how to solve basic equations. Okay, all right. So, so we plugged in zero. We got y was equal to negative three. But what is the importance of that? Okay, well, this. This right here is a coordinate. It's an x, y point, all right? And it's at 0, 
negative 3. So 0, negative 3 is on this line. Okay, so let's go ahead and plot that point real quick. 0, x is 0, and y is negative 3. Let's say that 1, 2, 3. Let's call it right there. Okay, that's 0, negative 3. Here's the point. And what would that point be? Is that my x-intercept or y-intercept? All right, so that's the y-intercept because that's the point this line is going to chop through on the y-axis, okay? So we get the y-intercept when x is 0, okay? Now we're going to get the x-intercept. We're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to plug in 0 for y and, and solve for x, okay? So let's go ahead and do that now. So 3x plus 4y equals negative 12. So this time we're going to plug in a 0 for y. Okay, we'll erase that. And we're going to solve for x. So 4 times 0, of course, is 0. So we're going to solve this problem right here. 3x equals negative 12. And when I divide both sides of the equation by 3, I get x equals negative 4. Okay, x equals negative 4. So that is going to be uh, the corresponding coordinate, of course, is going to be negative 4, 0. So let's go to plot that. That's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4 right there on the x-axis. Okay, there's negative 4, 0. Okay, so now I have a point here. That's my x-intercept, all right, because this is the x-axis, and this is my y-intercept. So now I just draw a line. Let me kind of carefully do that. And there you go, right? So I drew a line through those two points. Again, this is my y-intercept, and this is my x-intercept, all right? X-intercept is located here. Y-intercept is located here. So you just can't go wrong with uh, uh, using the table to find out what the x and y-intercepts are. This is really standard stuff, and it's going to be um, a real basic question that you're going to, to face you know, in your class for sure. It's gonna, your teacher going to say, hey, you know, tell me what the x and y intercepts are. You need to go ahead and know how to calculate that. Now, this also works, okay, this concept of what I just told you about. Even if you had a line written in this form, y equals 3x plus 7, you could still use this table of value just like that to, to locate um, the x and y intercepts. So, again, you know, it takes two points, okay, on the xy plane to plot a line. Uh, when you have a line written in standard form, the x and y intercepts are the most uh, direct and easiest uh, coordinates to get from that line. Okay? All right. So hopefully, you know, this was like, oh, okay, I get that. All right? And, of course, I talked about some other things here as well. A lot of moving parts. Again, if you need to review equations or you're struggling a little bit on positive and negative numbers or maybe y equals mx plus b, then... You know, I'm going to go ahead and encourage you to uh, check out some other videos on my YouTube channel. But if you want all this kind of packed together in a complete organized way, you know, for whatever course you're taking, maybe it's Algebra 1, College Algebra, Algebra 2, whatever the case might be, pre-algebra, then you definitely want to check out my uh, learning program because I organize all my complete instruction in terms of courses that you might be taking. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time. And have a great day.